Well, the House narrowly passed a short-term $290 billion increase to the nation's debt ceiling. That delays a decision about a larger increase at least until the month of February. But our next guest has been warning that U.S. public debt is soaring and there are real ramifications to this climbing figure. Here with reaction to the news is Alice Rivlin, former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, director of the CBO and head of OMB. She's now at the Brookings Institution. Uh, Alice, before we get to debt, I do want to get your, your quick reaction uh, because we are seeing the hearings in regard to uh, whether or not Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke should be staying in that position. We did hear Marty Feldstein earlier on this program say he should be uh, get the votes for renomination. Do you support that as well? I do. I think he's done a remarkably good job under terribly adverse circumstances, and he's the best person for the job right now. All right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that comment, Alice. But turning back to the to the topic of the day right now it is the climbing debt levels. You and I were speaking just last week about this question, and at the time, House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer had, had said, you know, 1.8, 1.9 trillion dollar increase to the debt. We saw a little bit of a uh, holdover with just this 290 billion, if you can use the word just and then follow it by billions. But um, the question is, how dangerous, where do we get to the point of danger when we see these numbers climbing ever higher in, in terms of U.S. debt levels? Well, the problem is we don't know exactly where the danger point is. Uh, the debt has gone up very rapidly recently as a result of all the things that were done to rescue the financial system and to uh, get the economy uh, beginning to turn around again. That's added to the deficit and particularly to the debt. Uh, we didn't used to have such a high percent uh, debt uh, re relative to our GDP, but we do now and we see it going much higher if things don't turn around. Much higher. Yeah, the, the increase in the debt limit brings us now to uh, about 12.4 billion from just 12 billion uh, in terms of the debt limit change that we've seen uh, so far. Do you think that we'll ever see um, us breach those debt levels? Could you ever see a U.S. default? No. Uh, I do not think the U.S. will uh, default uh, ever. We're a very strong economy and generally a pretty responsible country. So I don't think we will default. But we will have to do quite drastic things in the future uh, to make sure uh, that we bring our debt levels uh, down or at least that we keep them at a sustainable level. Um, I worked with a group of people uh, recently on a report Report, the Pew Peterson report, which mm -hmm. said we should stabilize the debt to GDP ratio uh, by about 10 years from now at 60% uh, of GDP. Now, that will take a major effort. And you say actually should be maybe more like 40, right? Well, it should, but that's not realistic right now. 60% is a pretty good goal. It's what the Europeans have in their Maastricht Treaty. The IMF has blessed it. But we're on the track to go way above 60% uh, now if we don't uh, change course. And the real reasons mm -hmm. are not the things we've been doing currently. Uh, they are the impact of future entitlements uh, raising Thank the Thank you, Alice. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you.